but he is counting out chips and it oh, looks no. like a raise coming in kid. here. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Wow, he has gone over the top. A total of 2.4. That's a 1.5 million raise and this huh. is very interesting. As you can see in our Zynga Poker leaderboard, Darren Elias still well out in front with 8 million, Modest Symbolis in second, and David Baker in third. We are playing 30,000, 60,000 with a 60,000 big blind ante at the LA Poker Classic final table tonight. Action's gonna go to David Baker. Quickly falls at 9-5. There's Steve Yeah, originally out of Seoul, Korea. He is a poker pro, ace nine. He'll make it 125 to go. It's a round to John Smith, the highway contractor. He's got ace 10, he likes it. So he'll make the call. And here's our chip leader, Darren Elias. Four time WPT champion with a King Jack. Darren has a decision to make between calling and squeezing with a three bet. You see him assessing both players' stacks and opting to call. Darren has made close to seven million in poker earnings, and this time Darren's gonna hit with a jack as a jack eight deuce appears on the board. And Darren's gonna check the jacks. Not a good flop for Steve here, and I'm disappointed to see him reaching for chips. I don't think he can make better hands fold. He doesn't have much in the way of back doors. He doesn't have a spade. But Darren Elias, of course, not going to fold top pair in the flop, makes the call. Trend card is a four of clubs. And Darren just gonna walk the dog here, so to speak. And if I didn't like the flop bet, I hate this turn bet. Steve really can't make many better hands fold here. As I said, he's blocking some of the draws that he wants Darren to have and potentially fold on this turn. And his 350,000 is quickly called from Darren and his jack, so we go to a river. And it is a queen, so Darren's hand is best. One more check from Darren. Chuck. Darren's gonna take down this pot, and he's gonna extend his chip lead. So Steve with a misstep. Okay, it's on Steve, who came straight from poker's top chef, of course. All in. All in. He's gonna shove all in with his ace three of hearts. So Mata Sabalis with a pair of jacks. Can I get a count? Who got that shirt while finger painting. I don't know if two players could be dressed in a more opposite way than Mata Sabalis and Stevie at this final table. And he will make this call. John goes away, Darren also out. Same hand. Jacks versus ace three of hearts. Well, I know Steve got it in behind here, but I like his shove pre-flop. He was below 15 blinds. He has a hand that plays very well in all ends, but he has run into pocket jacks here. Here we go with the flop. It's a three, queen deuce. Ooh. Not a bad flop still. Some backdoor possibilities for Steve. He could find a heart, a four or a five for a gut shot. And of course an ace or a three would give him the best hand. Yeah, Steve in trouble, needs to get lucky here. 10, will not there. Steve has dropped out of medical school to play poker. His first WPT cash, and now he's on the ropes. Will he be our sixth place finisher, or will he double up? Here it comes down to a seven. It's not gonna work out for Steve. John Smith wants people to believe he's new to the game, but I'm starting to think the jig is up. You heard the other players discuss his resume two very strong performances in the 10,000 Heads Up event where he finished second in consecutive years. Now at his first WPT final table, proving he can play full ring two. Now Modis with a jack 10. A little bit of a tight fold there, which I think is a result of having Darren and David in the blinds. John with a tight fold holding an ace on the button. I think he could have moved in there and had it been profitable, but uh, if you're gonna fold an ace, ace six offsuit is the one. Well, Darren Elias here with an awful four deuce just calling, and David with an option says, no, let's see the flop. 
David with Jack Nine. Here is the flop. And it's a 8 7 4. So Darren gets fours there. And he'll bet it. 60,000. David here with two over cards and a gut shot. Has a nice hand to continue with and makes the call. And a 10 gives him a straight there. David has the nuts. Darren will check to him, recognizes that the 10 is a good card for David's range. And now it's a question of bet sizing for David. How much do you think you can get from Darren here? He's gonna start with 150,000. Darren, not ready to give up on bottom pair in this limped blind versus blind pot, so he makes the call and will go to a river. A queen, so Darren, a heap of trouble here with not much of a hand, checks again. In some ways, that is a good river for Darren, yeah. as it provides another overcard that could potentially connect with David and makes this river fold easier for Darren. Say the board had paired, he might have been in some trouble, and he will get away. Does not go for the hero call at the end, so David Baker taking down that pot. Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT33 and get free entry into a $100,000 guaranteed tournament. He's going to fire his entire stack into the middle with pocket fives. David Baker with an ace-10 here. Can make help, please? This is a hand worth considering, but I think it would be a optimistic call from David. John is shoving 17 blinds. He hasn't been loose about open shoving pre-flop, and the action clock is ticking down on David here. have to use a time bank chip. I bluff half the time. Try to figure out what half I'm bluffing. Now that comes off pretty confident to me. When somebody starts talking to me during the hand, Stinks in there. I typically read it as confident. It's a man, not me. <laughs> David Baker in a quandary. David folds. I fold. John Claude will fold. Now Modest with a pair of kings. I call. He's gonna have John two outing for his tournament life. Nice call. Nice hand. <laughs> John takes it so well too. Nice call. Nice hand. Okay. Should we hit quads on him again? Is that him? Quads again. Come on, you can't again? do it again. Quads again. That's greedy. You want him on the flop or, or just run a runner? Run a runner. <laughs> John Smith, the Army veteran, been playing poker for 50 years. Needs a lot of help here. The flop is a 10 8 4. Oh, all the back doors. Two clubs and a backdoor straight draw for John. That's actually a pretty good flop for him. It's a little bit of hope. No, no clubs. How about the king of clubs? No. He's not. Going to the turn. King of clubs, okay. Nine of hearts. That's only a five. Can't get quad fives. You're going to be disappointed with one five? <laughs> Coming down the river. Well, with a six on the river, we are going to lose John Smith in fifth place. A great run at the LAPC it comes to an end at the hands of Modest Symbolis. Four-handed poker here in Las Vegas. We started this at the Commerce Casino. Darren Elias here with a pair of sevens. Darren, 125,000. David will make this call. And John Claude with Jack 10 in the big blind will come along as well. So three players to this flop. And the flop is a queen, queen 10. Tens for David Baker with the big king kicker. Tens for John Claude with the jack kicker. Darren getting none of that. And they all go check. Here's the turn six of hearts. So now David Baker realizing he's probably in front. He's getting out those betting chips. Yeah, 160. Now our short stack has to be very careful here, Jean-Claude. 
He does have to be careful, but he's got a pretty strong hand on this texture, and he's getting almost four to one to see this river. Yeah, he's called it. Darren gets out of the way, so down to the river. And it's an eight. Doesn't help Jean-Claude. Will the Baker man keep punishing him? Yes, 160 more. Very nice value bet from David here. Sized perfectly. Gives Jean-Claude a very good price to make this call and find out that his hand is second best. David Baker puts the cookies in the oven. He's starting to heat up. David Baker blows a little dough into Jean-Claude's face. Oh, good. Well, after that setback, Jean-Claude Moussa will be below 10 big blinds. It's good. You already passed the fifth, fifth place. Yeah, I guess so. Not very much he can do in that last hand, getting six to one on the river. David Baker now with a pair of queens. He's getting on a rush here. Going up to 160, and it's go time for Jean-Claude. He's all in for his last nine and a half blinds. He has plunged away. Mattis gets out of the way. Darren, though, with the King Jack. Well, everybody holding playable hands. I think Darren will get out of the way. He wants to look things over, yep. Oh. Jean-Claude up against the ladies. Doesn't feel good. Good luck, Jesse. This little year, I just keep giving bad beats. Screw it. Feeling confident despite the three outs. He's like, yeah, I'm putting bad beats on people all week. Five cards to come. Big poke of destiny for Jean-Claude. We're showing all in last hand. Let's see if he hits an ace here. Not to be 3-3-6 on the flop. David's safe with the two queens so far. Yeah. <laughs> Just take it all. Going to the turn. Uh, it's a five of diamonds. Oh my god. Not good for Jean Claude. Now that will take the ace of diamonds away as an out. Now looking for a ace of spades or clubs. Ask for one time. Say it. No. Not Say, on he's this. saving it. He's Not saving on this. it. Not on this. He's still saving it. <laughs> I want first. Screw this. I don't know if I get first with this chip stack. <laughs> <laughs> Put in the long game. I'm just gonna start clapping if it doesn't even come for me, just to mess with everybody. He needs a lot of luck. Can it happen? No, it's a king of clubs. David Baker scores the elimination. Great run for JC at his second LAPC final. David Baker taking down a nice pot there now with the button. Thinking it over. And letting it go. Now Matas with aces in the small blind. He's got to play it slow. Very tricky. Just calling it. Big fan of this limp from Matas. He's going to be limping so many bad hands. He needs to balance that by limping many of his strong ones. Queen Jack nine on the flop, which gives Darren's top pair. And now Matas coming out with a bet of 150. And Darren is going to call it, of course. This is a battle. Six on the turn. Adding more draws to the board, this would be a good spot for Matas to use a large bet in relation to the pot. Whatever Darren has, it can likely call a bet regardless of size. So when you have the best hand, you want to charge him in there. You see Matas bets full pot, 550,000. Now, these two poker pros showing why they belong at this final table and even the little parts of their decisions. Darren makes this call. He's in a heap of trouble unless something strange happens. Ten of hearts here. Oh, my. So now there's straights and there's flushes and there's all kinds of trouble for both players. Neither player connects there. Well, Modis, you want to check and try and catch a bluff or you think your hand is still good and you want to try and get value from a queen. And now he has to take more time here. 
I don't know if betting for value is realistic in Modest's shoes, and you can see his fiance there agonizing over this decision as much as he is. Modest fires out 950,000. He's going for value, and he's correct that his hand is best. I still don't know if I really like this bet, and if Darren folds a queen here, it's tough to say that Modest can realistically get value. Darren with the good fold, lets it go. Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT33 and get free entry into a $100,000 guaranteed tournament. Got a raise by Modest. David. Holding King Jack in the big blind will make the call. All right, so King Four versus King Jack. And the flop is a seven, seven, three, two diamonds, so Modest with a four flush. Well, I'll speak plainly, Vince. I think this is a bad bet from David. Uh, leading out on seven, seven, three after defending with King Jack makes absolutely no sense. And it is quickly called for Modest and his flush draw. No diamond there, so David actually out in front here. David again. Will now check. Now Modest with King High and a diamond flush draw. 1.2. He is going to bet over pot. 1.2 million. He recognizes that it's very improbable that David would ever lead a strong hand here. And so he will bully him right out of that pot. 25-year-old Modest Symbolis starting to show off here. David Baker in the small blind with ace eight. Just calling. Okay. And Modest with nine five says, let's see the flop. Ace five three, so David hitting aces, Modest with fives. And they go check, check. Seven of hearts on the turn. David Baker disguising the ace before the flop with a no raise, and now he's going to come out with a bet of 175. And he disguised it again by checking over on the flop, and so Modest here on the turn confidently calls with third pair. Queen of spades on the river misses all of the would-be draws. And so David goes for more value. I actually think when he has the eight of hearts in his hand, He's got a good hand to go ahead and bet near pot or full pot on the river. The Eight of Hearts is a key blocker. It prevents Modest from having some of the missed draws in his range. Modest, of course, with just fives. It's gonna take a little more time. Modest with a tough decision here. He does expect David to raise some of his aces pre-flop and bet them on the flop, so he's discounting those to a degree. He's not sure if David would bet a queen on the river. Call. So he'll make the call and be wrong this time. David Baker's ace eight takes down a nice pot. That proves that sometimes you just mix up your play. Sometimes you get a little more action by doing so. Next time, do it differently. Always keep changing at the poker table. And with that, our three players now within a few hundred thousand of each other. As our LAPC final table continues, Darren Elias with the button. Not really catching cards here tonight. It's going to drop out. David with a nice little 6-5 of diamonds just calling. And Modest with a king 10. He's going to raise to 275. Gets the call by Baker. Here we go with the flop. It is a king, queen, five. Modest with kings. David with fives. And Modest will continue with a 375 bet. Great flop for Modest, of course. He's got backdoor draws to go along with his top pair. David will make the call with bottom pair. 
And we see a King of Diamonds on the turn, so trips for Modus. And a dangerous card for David, because it actually makes his hand a little stronger. And not strong enough to lead out, though. This is a curious, and I would say ambitious bet. Wow, he is betting 550 with just the fives. Pretending like he has a king or something. Cool. We know Modus has the king, and so he just walks the dog and makes the call. Big pot brewing and the river card coming up. And it's an ace. David is going to check it. 900. Modest, of course, with three of a kind, is going to put in a value bet of 900. You would think it's going to be quitting time here for David. I would assume so. But he is counting out chips, and it oh, looks no. like a raise he coming in kidding. here. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Wow, he has gone over the top, a total of 2.4. That's a 1.5 million raise, and this huh. is very interesting. What a strange spot for Modus. Not only does he have trips, but he has the 10 of hearts that blocks the Jack-10 straight for David. And he likely thinks that David isn't limping the small blind with ace-king or pocket queens all that frequently. But he knows David could have king-queen or king-five. more time. This is a big moment. And I'll tell you something, if he makes this call, it would cripple David Baker. Well, the tension is thick in this arena. He'll be the hero, but he's going to throw it away. David Baker gets away with it. David Baker super proud of himself after that one. Absolutely. That is the bluff of the week. Beautifully done. Well done.